afternoon. Thanks for joining us again. You're with BSN Broadcast Sport News, uh, the best in Saints video. Today's uh, match is the uh, Stones Bitter League Championship. Saints entertain Featherston, and today's match day mascot is Gary Woodward. He's nine years of age. He attends Thatterweath Junior School. That's a local hotbed of rugby league talent, Thatterweath. Quite a few players coming from that uh, that area. The big day, Gary Woodward out there with his favourites. I'll just run through the team for you now, the Saints team. Number one, Beavers, two, Tanner, three, Bailey, four, Lachlan, five, Hunt, six, Frodsham, seven, Holding, eight, Mann, George Mann, making his home debut. Came, uh, played at uh, Wakefield last week. Nine, Paul Groves, ten, Bateman, eleven, Farber, twelve, Cosgrove, thirteen, Cooper, substitutes, fourteen, Large, and fifteen, Donegan. The Featherston side, number one, Bib, two, Drummond, three, New Love, four, Apathy, five, Napper, six, Banks, seven, Fox, eight, Gration, veteran campaigner there, Jeff Gration, about 40 years of age, nine, Clark, ten, Glen Bell, eleven, Smales, twelve, Booth, thirteen, Fisher, with fourteen, David Bug, and fifteen, Gary Hall. So Derek Fox, captain for uh, Featherston, also uh, captain of the Yorkshire side, Shane Cooper there, captain for the Saints. Today's match day mascot, Gary Woodward, is shaking hands with all the officials and uh, the referee there, Mr Tidball, only made up to grade one uh, last season. A new name for me. Let's hope he has a good game. There we are, tossing the coin. Saints match day mascot today, Gary Woodward. Big day for him, he's just hoping that his team does well. But we're changing ends now. Saints are going to be playing up to the Eddington stand end. <laughs> for this first half. An emphatic win, essential for the Saints. Played well last week at Wakefield. Wakefield played exceptionally well, but Saints stuck to the task for the full 80 minutes. Produced uh, two late tries that won us the match. We're just waiting now for referee Tidball to get it underway. Featherson kick it deep. David Taller takes it well right in the corner, up to the 25. Solid weight for you tackling. Uh, beg your pardon, Featherson tackling. Coached by uh, Peter Fox. Tommy Frodsham back after injury in at the standoff position. Groves attacking half back. Saints moving it left. Breaking through the. Back to Neil Olding, Saints uh, spread it to the right, Mark Bailey tries to fend one off, but solid tattling on the far side, it's uh, Paul Newlove. But Tanner there, bursting through, blistering pace from Tanner. Mark Bailey with him, but deep in the uh, Featherston 25 now, Saints putting the charge on, Bateman going through, Bateman charging through, coming from deep, five yards short. Early points essential on the board for Saints, but Featherston have penalised. Quick, quick tap wanted. Well, Shane Cooper wants to get it to Paul Gross to play the ball, but uh, he's been uh, held back. It's not going to matter, a quick uh, tap. It was Paul Gross' intention there. Shane Cooper was held back. But uh, after the calming down period, uh, Shane Cooper, the next to go for goal. It's right in front of the sticks. Just over a minute uh, played. The Saints are going to be on the board here with Paul Lockley's trusty boots to make it two points to nil. There's Lockley already 32 to his credit this season. That's his 33rd. And Saints are on the board two points to nil after just two minutes. And kick off again. Well taken the right on the touch line. David Tanner again. Blistering pace up that wing. Certainly must have been must have been putting some speed training in. Bateman again. Let's hope we get an action replay of the action just uh, a couple of minutes ago. George Mann. Joy. 
The crowd warmed to him and said so unlucky the man again, but he puts it down. But he came on up with well. Standing ovation over here on the popular side and no doubt all around the ground for this New Zealand uh, prop, uh, George Mann. He certainly put some good touches together last week at Wayfield, considering he'd only arrived on the Saturday late in the afternoon. Uh, he was replaced uh, during the game, but he showed some good touches, taking two and three men on and uh, passing the ball out. But Fox feeds, and he did feed too, but it's on to Chris Bibb, the fullback. The chase is on for the line, and Bibb's hurrying down, he's going to score. Well, right from the scrum there, and Bibb finishes off. Fox fed the scrum, as I said. Certainly second row feeding, but to Wakefield moved it well, penetrated the same defence. Bibb latched onto it, and he ran about 35 yards to touch down, 10 yards in from the far uh, corner flag. But I have to say, it's uh, coming up with George Mann, unfortunately, he knocked it to, to the ground, the scrum was formed, and then Wakefield won it. Uh, Featherstone won it, I'll get it right eventually, Featherstone were playing today, I know. Uh, Featherstone won it and they moved it quickly to the left and uh, Bibb latched onto the end of it and he outpaced the Saints defence. He touches down and puts Wakefield in the lead by four points to two. Certainly a, a pair of Jekyll and Hyde teams on the park this afternoon, both Featherstone and Saints, uh, just still up and down. Featherstone have only won one. And Saints have only won two. Edison beating Castleford in the opening match of the season. There's the conversion attempt. Nowhere near. So it's uh, Saints two. Featherstone four. After just four minutes play. That's the way to hit back, isn't it? Uh, if you go a score down with Saints second and an early lead with the penalty. Lockley now kicks it deep. Second row forward there, Ian Smales. Well, forced back, tremendous, solid tackling there. Three man Saints tackle. Groves, Farber, and uh, Andy Bateman. Couldn't think of his name then. Featherston bring it blindside. Groves is in at the tackle again. Cosgrove lending an extra pound. Reveling in his uh, extended run in the first team, and he's certainly playing for his place. He's David Cosgrove. This is it with some of these lads that's in the A team. They just uh, can't force their way in, but uh, Cosgrove has. Fox there. Nearly lost it, but quick handling from uh, Featherstone. I don't know whether he's touched the Saints play. We'll see if the referee uh, wipes the slate clean. Not give any signal. Must have just gone back, but Featherstone spreading it along the line. Gration, veteran campaign, a lofted ball. Three man overlap for Featherstone now. He's coming inside. Sharp ball there onto Barry Drummond. The coloured lad Drummond, I don't know whether he is any relation to uh, Des Drummond. But say it's penalised. Alan Hunt and George Mann in there, and uh, referee Tidball awards Featherstone the penalty. the Saints 25 now. Saints urge to get back, the required uh, 10 yards. Fox plays the ball. Loop movement there with Clark the hooker. Well, nothing in the tackle there, the referee's right there. The hooker, I think it was it attracted the touch judge's attention. Nothing in that tackle at all. The referee was right on the job and if he can't see it, Well, uh, High Tattle is there, he's right on the job. He has to, well, he doesn't have to agree with the touch judge, but the touch judge came on after some intervention by the Featherstone player, and Featherstone have been awarded the penalty. The general idea for the man in the black in the middle is to make his own decisions, but he was influenced there by the touch judge who had been in influenced by a Featherstone player. The chance for Featherstone to extend the lead, already leading by four points to two. Seven minutes gone. Mark Napper, second chance of the afternoon. Unsuccessful with the bib try conversion. Napper again, right between the sticks. Six points to two for Featherstone.
Strickland kicks it deep again. Ten in the end goal area. Take his second row forward again. Ian Smears. Drives up to the 25. Groves brings him to ground. Trevor Clark uh, sacked in half back again, but uh, Patterson have lost the ball. Sits quickly away. George Mam lofts it out to Lachlan. Lachlan straight. Oh, he's going for the line. Yes, he's over. Yes, it must be a try. The touch judge this time. He gives the nod and sits him back. Brilliant individual try there from Paul Lachlan. George Mam took the ball. He drove up. He slipped it to Lachlan. Perhaps I thought he could have taken it a little bit further, but Lachlan, the superior strength of this international centre, powered his way over with two and three Featherstone men latching onto his shorts. season that puts him the Saints leading try scorer and also he's a uh, regular goal kicker 33 conversions so far or 33 goals I should say just outside the 25 and only about a foot in there it shows you how uh, hard he did to, to squeeze in at the corner did very well composing himself Saints on level terms six apiece no hooks it to the left his uh, right knee heavily strapped up just hope it's nothing serious it doesn't keep him out of the test squad uh, versus New Zealand this Saturday. So plenty of action in the first uh, nine minutes there. Lachlan try, that levels the scores up six points each. Shane Cooper, Paul Farber coming through at pace. Turning into the tattle, looking who he's going to release, but a good clamp tackle there by Glen Booth. It's Cosgrove taking up the running. Tommy Frotchin backing him up. He couldn't release it. Groves brings it blindside. George Mann again. Powering up this touchline. <laughs> Shea Cooper. Neil Holding. Into space. Unlucky though. Just as his ankles tapped. Saints again. Moving it right. Cross field. Tommy Frotchin again. Blistering pace, inside ball to Beavers. Well turned in by Frotcham. Sixth and final title of Beavers is on the centre spot. Grove takes it right, Neil Olden. Mark Bailey, on to David Tanner, he's going to chip it, yes. Lofty ball from Tanner, the chase is on. Has it bounced in field? No, unlucky there. Just bounced into touch. They just bounced in field there, there'd have been some pressure on this Featherstone outfit. But it's a changeover, it was the sixth title. And Featherstone uh, played the ball from where the ball was kicked. Mid, that was midway between the Featherston 25 and the halfway line. Fox along the line, Grayson. Good ball, equally good tackle there. But the ball uh, not bouncing kindly for the Saints. Bip comes up with it. Featherston still in possession. Quick hands. Solid tackling there. Neil Holding, sharp as attack. In on Paul Newlove. He's been chosen in the uh, Mal Riley's Great Britain test squad to take on New Zealand this Saturday. If he does actually play, he's going to be the youngest uh, international. Well, obstruction there. Took two men out. Two Featherstone men took the Saints defenders out. They move over very quickly. Tried to bang him into touch over there where the dais is, which was there for yesterday's Lancashire Cup final for the presentation. Well, Fox, the ball will be knocked on. If it hadn't touched the referee tid ball, he would have allowed play to go on because Saints would have uh, been able to capitalise on it. It's going to be a scrum down with the Saints feed. Right on the halfway line and about 15 yards in from that to main stand side. They'll only to feed. Ball comes out, Saints. Frotchum and hold him with the loop movement. Beavers in the line, lofted ball. Just scampers over the halfway line. Shane Cooper weaving his way through. Still going, Cooper. Just glides through these uh, Featherston defenders. Holding. Andy Bateman. Certainly runs out this uh, ex Hunslip forward. Either prop or second row. Neil Holding from acting half back position. Tried to burrow his way through. Solid tattling there. Glenn Booth and Andy Fisher bring him to the ground. Well, Grayson here is a mile offside. I suppose he has to be at 40, doesn't he? No chance of getting onside. 
But Sally tackling there, Ivo Rapati. Well, I don't know, I would think that's possibly new look. We've been given Rapati, but uh, doesn't look much of a Maori, does he, though? Fox again, inside ball. Number 11, Ian Smales. A grayish and you can't take it, but fortuitous there, and Glenn Booth gets the bounce. He tries to grubber it to, into touch. Doesn't get, uh, well, he gets too much loft. Straight in on the full. Not a scrum down to be formed just inside the Featherston half. Neil Olin to feed with Glenn Booth putting that ball out on the full. Saints come up with the ball. Change of direction, Mark Bailey on the diagonal. Featherston penalised for offside. Moving up very quickly. He's going to go for goal. Featherston being penalised for offside. About 30 yards out. Just to the left of centre. Scores all tied at six points each. And quarter of an hour gone of this afternoon's game. Lachlan there composing himself. Lachlan there strikes it well. Spot, he takes it to the left. Well, uh, let's hope it's not going to be one of those days. Obviously a hard match in prospect and Saints need all the points they can get. Today's match day mascot, Gary Woodward. His uh, favourite player is Paul Lachlan. He'll be hoping he does well. Phil Beavers takes it well, drives over to the right. Unlucky there, he's still going Beavers. Just broke out of the first tackle. Wants to get up and play the ball quickly. Well, they're all offside on the referee's right. Mr. Tid ball there, he'll have to get a grip. Well, a high tackle rule on Andy Bateman. Gration it was, coming in, clamping Andy Bateman. Veteran campaigner, Jeff Gration. 40 years of age. But Lachlan, deep kick, good positional kick. Pines touch 10 yards inside the Featherston 25. Well, for whatever reason, uh, Groves now plays the ball. Cooper has the pivot onto Paul Farber. Centre field, Tommy Frodsham acting out back. Luke moving with Holden. No, change of direction. Saints moving to the right. Cooper, he comes back in field. Sharp ball there to George Mann, driving for the line. Whoa! Tremendous power. Pinpoint pass from Cooper to his fellow New Zealander. Saints move it left. Cooper again. Sharp ball to Bit. Is it Bateman? Yeah, Bateman's got it. Cooper again and Saints pressing. Only a match of time, surely. Farber's been touched. The Featherston man comes up with it. Saints pressure there, uh, going to miss. But it's Fox trying to get away from his own line. Saints will have to hold him in the 25. They're going to take two and three tackles, drives forward and then try the kicking game. Groves comes in for the tackle. Big Featherston forwards driving upfield. Always oh, uh, had a big pack of Featherston. George Mann and uh, David Cosgrove in there at the tackle. Paul Groves in as well. And it's Featherston now. Well, getting bunched up. Must be a knock on that. Loose forward there, Andy Fisher getting uh, bundled up. Fox coming uh, to his right. But Fisher made a hash of it to scrum down. It's going to put Saints back on the attack, surely. To Saints feed, Neil only to feed. 20 yards from the Featherston line. Holding feeds, Saints come up with the ball. Cooper and Lachlan striding out to Alan Hunt. Is he in? He's just brought down short. Well, play allowed to go on, is it? No. Knock on being rude. Featherston kicked it through. Ian Smales. But Saints there just losing possession at two vital times. 
right on the opposition's line. Derek Fox, he's going to feed this scrum. No, beg your pardon, Neil Olden to feed the scrum. He has given the knock on uh, against Featherstone. Holding feeds. Saints get the ball again. Well, awkward ball there. Tommy Frotchum tidies it up. Lachlan and Frotchum. Loop movement. Lofty ball. Well taken by Bailey. Off. Oh, yes. Is he always oh, lost the ball? Looked as though all he had to do was roll over. And he lost the ball in the tackle. Unlucky there, Saints, but they should have had points on the board. Six tackles waved again. The sheet to uh, wave clean. Featherson have an injured player behind the line. Saints moving up very quickly, but they're penalised. So Saints penalised. It must be for moving up in an offside position. Had to play the ball. That relieves some of the pressure for Featherston. And it's Fox with the positional kick to touch. Finds touch on his own 25. Featherston had a tough game on Thursday in the Yorkshire Cup uh, semi-final. They drew with Castleford 18 apiece. They've got to replay that again next Sunday. The other game was uh, a draw with Bradford and Halifax. That's being played today. So some tough ties there in Yorkshire. Feathers, Featherston on the charge. Into space. Just Phil Beavers there. In the way of Fisher. But a solid tackle there. Brings Fisher down. The half-back, Alan Banks. Well, certainly looked like a, an obstruction. Play allowed to go on, but solid tackle there, Bateman. He brings his man down. Fox again. Can't get him going. Quick hands. Well, quick hands was the order of the day, but Featherston is just going a bit amiss. Baby gives the dummy. It's on to uh, Barry Drummond. Oh, look at that for a tackle. Brock forward. Goes in, digs in for it. Play allowed to go on. Alan Hunt. Holding at dummy half. Shane Cooper. Trying to set the Saints on the way. Certainly look very sharp, but the uh, Featherston defence. Well, Andy Baker, unlucky there. He's on the hands and knees there. Just taken down. It's good forward, this Bateman. Comes hard. Trots him into space. Oh, lovely ball to Lachlan. Out to Hunt. Oh, he can't take it. Ball's gone into touch. Well, he should have played on there. Featherston perhaps could have got the ball. It did actually roll into touch in the Featherston 25. But a lovely break there. Frotchum again, the instigator. Alan Hunt couldn't take the final pass from Paul Lachlan. Derek Fox to feed. Saints front row can't get packed. Well, Fox feeds again. Banks across the line. Still in possession is Banks. at the acting halfback position certainly looked like a knock on as the crowd uh, cry for it but it's Ian Smales Fox again out to veteran campaigner Jeff Creation inside ball to Fox inside to Lee Lively who can I think it is Trevor Clark one of three New Zealanders in the uh, Featherston ranks well, he's a bit slow with that one team play was underway and then Saints have been last for uh, being offside at the play of the ball. Pick the bones out of that. But Featherston are going to have a go for goal. Score's still all tied at six points. Seach at present. 22 minutes gone and it's going to be a long kick. About 40 yards. Just to the right of the post. Featherston left winger Mark Napper. He's the regular goal kicker here at, uh, for Featherston. Unsuccessful with uh, two attempts so far. One a try conversion and a penalty. Let's hope he keeps up his uh, form with this. Well, nowhere near with that. Well taken there by David Tanner. Took it well right on the dead ball line. Tanner there bursting through. Grove, taking up the running. George Mann, Neil Holden, Lachlan again. Good play there, 
Sheds spreading it to this uh, left wing. Cooper inside ball to Farber. Farber's burst it through. Bateman on his left, he couldn't release it. But a good 10, 15 yard burst. Sheds play quickly, moving to the right. Cooper. Cosgrove. Short ball to Beavers in the line. He's the extra man. Bailey comes in field. Still going, Mark Bailey. Deep in the Featherston 25 now. Lovely rugby from the Saints. Sixth and final tackle signified by referee Tidball. Neil Holding, cross field, diagonal kick. Frodsham's following it up. Dred Drummond, he's knocked on. Yes, he's knocked on. In the end goal area. Frodsham putting the pressure from that Neil Holding cross field kick. And uh, Drummond knocked on. Featherston have uh, got to drop out from between their own sticks. A lot of sustained pressure from the Saints, though, but not many points uh, for their efforts yet. Beavers takes it five yards inside his own half. He drives up centre field. Fox comes in to meet him. He beats Fox. He still stood, Beavers. Fox finally brings him to ground. Well, holding him down there. The man was trying to get up, and Fox went in with the shoulder, held him down. Referee Tidball duly penalises Featherstone. Saints come up uh, with another chance for the extra two points. now 30 yards out similar position in distance but uh, more to the left of the posts just uh, one penalty goal to Lachlan's credit this afternoon plus his try six points each and a chance now for Saints to take the lead 25 minutes gone Lachlan there, strikes it well, that looks better, doesn't it? Yes, right between the uprights. And Saints are in the lead, at eight points to six. with only one win to the credit this season they beat uh, Castleford uh, in the opening match of the season they've been able to register a, a win in the Stones Bitter League Championship Saints have only won two this is only the second Stones Bitter League Championship home game of the season still looking for the first winners home unfortunately went down to Castleford here at Nosey Road just by two points but they certainly look very sharp this afternoon, the Saints, they're driving upfield. Groves brings it blindside onto George Mann again. Strong lad, turns in the tackle, looking to feed inside, but he was brought down then. Groves to Bateman. Well, a bit of a mix-up there in the Saints ranks, and Bateman more or less taking it, stood still. Jeff Gration brings him down. Paul Lachlan with a kick upfield. It's just going to bounce in, touches it. Yes, right on the line, that, and bounces in. Pinpoint precision there from uh, Paul Lachlan. Saves a lot of running for these forwards. The scrum down to be formed. Five yards, more or less, from the Featherstone line. Certainly be a timely one for Paul Gross to take one against the head here. But they have got a big pack, Featherstone. And Footwell, he's feeding again there. He's, he, I do believe he's actually penalised Saints for being offside at the scrum. Well, Shane Cooper, he's looking at him, pointing. What a ridiculous decision. And Fox, he's done nothing but feed the scrum all the match. Featherstone have been awarded the penalty, the fine touch, 10 yards short of the halfway line. Not fed a, a clean scrum yet, and Fox is international scrum half. Featherstone moving it to the left, solid tackling there, Paul Farber in, lending an extra pound with captain Shane Cooper, and it's Derek Fox at acted halfback. Big prop forward, Glenn Bell, he's uh, the cousin of Wigan's international Dean Bell. As I said, one of three New Zealanders, along with uh, Trevor Clark and Ivor Rapati. A bib again, finishes it inside, good ball there to Glen Booth. Inside pass to Fox, whoa, George Mann again, hurling down on Fox. He knew Mann was coming, and he covered up there, but it's Featherston still pressing. Ivor Rapati. Fisher attacked it half, back onto Fox. Misses out Gration. Featherstone just getting a little bit of disarray there, new love, but he feeds the ball on, it's still going, it's Mark Knapper. 
just didn't see him moving it. They're not getting very far at present, but they are moving it. Barber in at the tackle, sixth and final tackle signified. Wouldn't be surprised if Fox doesn't have a go for a drop here. On the 25, though. Then it goes to Fox, tries to grubber through it, just touches Saints man. Is it uh, six saddle going to be signified? Waiting for the referee to blow off. Yes, the six saddle signified. It was kicked directly at the man. They couldn't uh, do anything else. Sonny let it hit him. The Saints came forward. Featherston uh, gathered the ball. It was on the six saddle. The changeover was there, and George Mann there just playing the ball. To Paul Groves, Andy Bateman running through. He certainly runs out, this lad Bateman, doesn't he? Groves again, he's going to come blindside, as you know, he turns it infield. Done with me again. Frodsham, shot ball to Farber. Well knocked down there. Saints on a charge, two-man overlap on the far side, and it was uh, New Love that charged it down just as well. Scrum to be far midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line. Saints feed this time with Neil Olin. So as I said, Saints tidying up on the scrums, 5-2. Front row for Featherston, can't get packed, but Saints come up with the ball, Frodsham, Tanner coming in, into space, lovely ball to Mark Bailey. Did Luke a hint forward, but uh, referee, a tid ball, said it's OK, well that'll do me, Lachlan into space, drives up, no, oh, still going Lachlan, comes in field, he was just a little bundle up there, he couldn't really give it Alan Hunt, but Saints putting the pressure on Cooper, along the line, Frodsham, on to Beavers. It's his shot. Yes, Beavers is over. No, couldn't get it down. The ball's loose. I don't know who's got it. It looks like a Featherston fur of hands clamped on it. But a couple of occasions, though, with Saints losing the ball right at short range. Gresham coming away with it. Well, he's being forced back. Saints still in the lead by eight points to six. All points courtesy of Paul Lockman this afternoon. Ten minutes left in this first half. Certainly an exciting game. Well, Saints penalised there, he never even touched him. Number 12 there, Glenn Booth losing the ball, getting up, punching about, and uh, referee Tidball has uh, penalised Paul Groves because he was the man there. Can't say I'm uh, very impressed with the man in the middle uh, so far this afternoon, but uh, form your own opinion. Trevor Clark has acted half back onto Fox. Featherston moving it left. Grayson and Fox work the loop movement. He's got a good old head on him, uh, Grayson. I suppose his head's the same age as the rest of his body, isn't it? Uh, putting it that way. But he's uh, a wily campaigner. He can set some good moves up. Featherston lose the ball. Neil Olden uh, is turning up the main stand side wing. George Mann. Still in the title, looking to release it. Oh, I thought it was gone, it has now. Quick hands from the Saints, second two and three. Featherston men, oh, Frodsham, what a sidestep. Lofty ball to Lachlan, can Saints make it count? Inside to Barber, back to Cooper, but it's loose. Featherston's kicked it, Saints get it, it's all on. Six again, yes, that's right. He waves the title count clean, Cooper again. Saints on the charge, George Mann. Shrugs one title off, bounced down on the 25. Quick play of the ball, Tanner at dummy half. Saints moving it along the line. Well, little slap there. Harbour, it's inside ball to Lachlan, but he knocks on. Fox had hold of his foot there, you know. And for, uh, Lachlan couldn't do much about it. Slightly impeded, but he did knock on. Had to stretch for it. The idea was right from Farber to keep it going, but a scrum down to be formed just inside, uh, just outside of a pad. Well, feed in again, home ball. And uh, Saints being last, but going down in the scrum. Diving into the scrum, and Fox, he's done nothing but feed all afternoon. Ridiculous. Fox with the extra yardage. Five yards inside the Saints half. Clark onto Fox along the line there. Second row forward, Smales. But solid tackling, Saints moving up very quickly, and they certainly got to do a lot of tackling, they've got to contend with. We're not getting the first year of the rub of the green from uh, referee Tidball. Ian Smales there in possession. Trevor Clark acting half-back. Got to move it right. On 
to Fox, Grayson again, looking to turn it back inside, but Sully tattling the Bateman in, round the legs, can't go without the legs, can you? Fox again, you've got to watch this fella, a good eye for the gap, solid tackling there, his counterpart Neil Holden comes in, with Paul Groves already uh, completing the tackle, Grayson turns in the tackle, looking to release, you've got to clamp this man, he's a big lad, he must be 16 or 17 stone, sixth and final tackle now of this sequence, and Trevor Clark at dummy half, he gets up very slow, does uh, Jeff Grayson, Fox, chip kick through, Beavers takes it on the run, Ian Smathers comes in to tackle Beavers, but solid tackling there. Man attacked in half. Back onto Alan Hunt. Oh, well. Looks a hint of a trip there, the final tackle. Being, well, all over the bell. He's, in, he's all over him. him now in possession. It's a space, Brodchim. Keep it on his left. Brodchim keeps going. Brilliant break from Brodchim there now. And Saints with the tails up. Got to spread it quickly. Grayson, he can't get back. Offside. Well, look at man, look at him go, watch him follow his way, oh, brilliant try from George Mann, he took the ball 35 yards out, he powered his way through, tremendous pace, and he scores a try on his home debut. Standing ovation from this New Zealander, George Mann. Rider. Took it well. Brought him to the of the speed work. Said very quickly. A man came through. A hundred mile an hour. He took it. And he outpaced the Featherstone defence. Touching down ten yards in from this popular side corner flag. The crowd warmed to him. And uh, you'd seen him last week at uh, Wakefield. And if you'd watched the video, you know the shape of things to come. He's certainly a useful character there. Listen to popular side here now, the chance in Georgie Mann and why not? Brilliant try there, knocking the stuffing out of his Featherston outfit. Lachlan now, for the extra points. Looks good, is it coming in? Yes! Just shaves the left-hand post, goes in. And Saints extend the lead now to 14 points to six, with just five minutes play remaining in this first half. Certainly got a gem in this George man. What a pearl a try. He certainly runs hard and he did there, but Saints here. Well, good Tanada. Oh, nearly, nearly decapitated. Bell, I think it was. No, it was the hooker, Trevor Clark. But Saints spreading it quickly again. Man again. Still going forward. Well, he's had the ball taken from him. It's either a patty. Pinch the ball from George Mann there. Puts Featherston back on uh, the attack. Fox along the line. There. Well, it's down. Knock on being ruled, but Featherston come back up with the ball. He's dropped forward there, uh, Glen Bell, who let it slip. So a chance for uh, possession back for the Saints. It's Saints head and ball. What an exciting game. Certainly some pulsating stuff this afternoon. Well, one against the head. Fox comes up with it. On to Rapati. Barry Drummond at dummy half. Fox along the line. Grayson. Loose forward Fisher. Inside ball there to number 12, Glen Booth. He's centre field. He's 10 yards from the Saints line. They've hardly been in there. The Saints 25 since that third minute bib try. But it's Fox. Alan Banks. Sit tattling holds firm. George Mann in the thick of it there. Fox along the line. Featherston keep it moving. Rapati is going centre field. Solid tackling in the Saints. Is that the fifth tackle? No, no sig signal by referee. Tid ball. Sharp ball onto uh, Ian Smales. Third it is, sixth and final tackle now. Fox goes for the drop goal. Well, they all count, don't they? I mean, if Saints was in the same position, I'm sure they would do. I know the crowd don't like it, but uh, they all count. And it could win the match at the end of the uh, day, couldn't it?
So 14 points to seven with two minutes of play remaining in this first half. Fox just popping their drop goal over there on the sixth tackle. Ideal position, and as I said, the all count. Neil Olden's drop goal that uh, took us the uh, share of the spoils. Well, I should say, not the share of the spoils. He certainly won us the day against uh, the New Zealand touring team. But Drummond coming in field. Brought down on the 25 there. Featherston in their own 25. Good way to the Saints try line. Time running out in this first half. They're trailing by 14 points to seven now, Featherston. Bell uh, inside ball. On to Bibb. Cabbage is a couple of yards there, but uh, Featherston move it left. Gration. He gets it out to the hooker, Clark. I said with Grayson, you've got to clamp him. Man and ball. He backs into the defenders and uh, he has a nasty habit of slipping that ball out. On to uh, Bell, into space. Looking for support, Bibbs there with him. Well, Saints been split open here. Fox. Driving for the line, looking for support. It's back to Drummond, it goes through his hands. Lachlan comes up with it. A little fortunate there, but he did the stuff. New look couldn't take it, Drummond couldn't take it, and uh, Lachlan just uh, wraps his arm round it. Cosgrove, from acting half back, drives upfield. Gives Saints a bit of breathing space. George Mann. Paul Grove's coming blindside. Not been playing well of late as uh, well an injured player. The game being stopped for an injured player. Player was allowed to go on, but the referee obviously he saw the uh, the urgency in the tattle there. Just as I was saying, Paul Groves he hasn't been playing too well of late, but uh, he's usually a live wire. But the Saints doctor is he on the field there. The Featherstone physios there. Obviously the man taking a knock in the tackle. And Featherston substitute Gary Hall. It's number 11, uh, Ian Smales, that's took a knock. They've got him sat up, but uh, whether he is all right or not, I don't know. They take some clog. Yeah, it's Saints doctor going out to lend a hand at Ian Smales. He's OK, I think. He's back on his feet. I don't think they are substituting him. George Mann at dummy half, Cooper on to Holding. Crossfield kick from uh, Neil Holding, makes Chris Bibb run back. <laughs> so there's the half-time hooter, and a pulsating half here at Nosey Road. The score at half-time, 14 points to seven. Certainly Saints looking a little shaky early on, even though they did open the score in the second minute with a Paul Lachlan penalty goal. Then Bibb bib back uh, a minute later, from, directly from a uh, scrum. Fox feeding the scrum, they took it over to the left and scored and Bibb uh, went over the try, that put Featherson in the lead, four points uh, to two, then a Napa penalty goal three minutes later, made it 6-2 and then it was all Saints then a try from Lockley in the eighth minute, a penalty goal from Lockley in the 25th minute and then that super try from George Mann converted by Paul Lockley uh, in the 34th minute, that made it 14-6 and Fox for Featherston just dropping a goal uh, shortly before half time, the half time score at Nosey Road is 14 points to seven With you now for the second half of the Stones Bitter League clash. Saints in the lead at half time, 14 points to seven. Saints playing down to the clubhouse and sponsors box end for the second half. Saints to kick off. Paul Lachlan to get the game underway. Kicks it uh, deep into the corner. Barry Drummond comes up with the ball, and uh, I must apologise, obviously, we've not been conversant with the Featherston team. It's uh, Ivor Rapati at three, and Paul Newlove at four. I was looking for the Rapatis, I mean, you expect him to be a little bit darker than uh, that. Uh, perhaps the dad had a bike, I don't know, but uh, it's Featherston in possession. Stand up, Alan Banks, siding his way through, looking for support. Saints lay off him a little, give him a chance, but Phil Beavers comes in with uh, Alan Hunt and close him down. Featherston now, Peter Fox, he'll have no doubt uh, 
had a few stern words with him, but it's Bell. He still gets the ball away. On to Fox. Coming over to his wingman, Napper. But David Tanner does well. He clamps him. Mark Bailey comes in. Gives him the extra pound and bangs him to the ground. Just outside the 25. Fox again. Patterson moving it right. They're trailing by 14 points to seven. They've got to get back. Uh, as far as Patterson are concerned with the points on the board. Sixth and final tackle now. Trevor Clark chips it through. Lachlan takes it well. Beats one. Still coming through, Lachlan. Diagonal run. He's going to spread it out here now. Good quick hands. Cooper. Sits on the charge. Bailey. It's just been... Oh! Just got his ankles to aggression. Slowest man on the field and he rolls all over him. Rolls all over him there. Nothing done at all. But Saints very quickly, Farber. On to man again. Look at him power his way down. He's still stood in the tackle. Releases the ball to Beavers. He's offside, that man, surely, on to Frodsham. But it's Bateman. Oh, he's really is. Good handling from Saints there. Neil Holding snaps that ball up from Bateman. And Featherston are penalised for holding Neil Holding to the ground. Set pressure there, telling and Featherston, professional foul, they held him down. And it's your chance for Saints to extend the lead. Just while we're waiting for Paul Lachlan to take this conversion, I just uh, hope you keep for your orders coming in for the New Zealand tape, certainly one uh, to have in your video collection. And I'm also pleased to announce that uh, we've got a try tape from last season, the 1988-89 tries, uh, brought to you by BSN, that's Broadcast Sport News. Uh, Peter Tushingham, our uh, boss, has put a lot of hard work into getting all these uh, tries together, assembled on one tape. It's, uh, we're taking orders for it now, if you have any difficulty, uh, at promotions, you can come and see us here on the video stand. We'll only be too pleased to help you. It's going to be 14.95, an ideal uh, stocking filler for Christmas. So uh, let's hope you keep your orders coming in. And Paul Lachlan uh, bounces that over, no problem. Just three minutes into the second half, and Saints extend the lead now to 14 uh, to 16 points to seven, I should say. with his foot, driving up to the 25, solid tackling again there, Frotch him on the dummy run and Farber takes the ball but they're moving in very quickly at Featherston, Cosgrove, lovely ball to Bateman, yes, out to boy, never a forward pass in the memory of man, my word, we're well handicapped this afternoon aren't we? Precision passing there from the Saints. Bateman bursting through. Splendid ball up to his right to Mark Bailey. Nothing wrong with that at all, but Saints have brought back. He's trying to keep the score down, he's uh, Mr. Tidball. Feeding again from Fox, and he'll have to get away with it yet again. Bib, but Beavers brings him down. New, well, it's Rapati into it at three now. I do beg your pardon, Rapati there bursting through. Fox, integration. Quick ball there to Bell. No, it's on with the, the uh, Mark Napper, the left wing. Did well there, Featherston. Split the Saints open. It was the hooker there, uh, Clark, I should say, that uh, fed the last pass on to Napper, the wingman. He went in field 10, 15 yards. But Patterson spread it very quickly, and there's another try that came from an illegal feed from the scrum by uh, Featherston scrum half Derek Fox. Well, somebody just to the left of me shouting, you don't know what feed in, uh, in the scrum is, and... Uh, I can only second that. Two tries coming from illegal feedings from the scrum and Featherston uh, capitalising on it. I mean, they still got to get past the 13 Saints, haven't they? So, uh, full marks for effort. But it's Snapper trying to convert his own try. It's going to hit the post. Hits the post and bounces out. So the score now, after five minutes playing the second half, 16 to the Saints, 11 to Featherston. So 
Some good touches coming from both sides uh, this second half. Featherston unlucky last week, uh, just losing out 22 points to 20 at home to Leeds. There was a man down with Chris Burton. The veteran campaigner from uh, Hull KR, he was sent off. Saints kick off and Featherston duly knock on. It's going to be a scrum down. Whereas Saints last Sunday they, uh, snapped up two valuable points at Wakefield. As I said, it's a game that looked lost, but two late tries from uh, Paul Lockley and Alan Hunt. A, uh, a perler from Alan Hunt with Lockley, which uh, was, he was involved in it. Down the uh, left hand touchline. And Hunt scored against his uh, older club. Put Saints in the lead, 24 points to 21. But, well, Featherston there, the pain lies for diving in the scrum. Obviously, the uh, signal, as uh, far as Featherston are concerned, was uh, very vague as they were still packed. And it looks as though they were going to scrum down again. They thought the referee Tidball was just going to bring them in field to pack again. But Saints uh, with the ball, spreading it right. Farber, Crutcham, George Mann, lovely ball to Lachlan. <laughs> Crotch him again, on to George Mann, turning back inside, releases it, Paul Groves, outrageous dummy as Groves always does well, he looks into space, turns in the tattle, Frotchum couldn't take it off him, Cosgrove at dummy half, Saints spend it along the line, Fox a mile offside, holding round him, feeds back to Andy Bateman, wouldn't it be nice if Bateman could get a try, he's still powering towards the line, eight yards short, and just to the right of the sticks, holding from back to the half back. Cooper and Oldham with the loop movements, into space, oh, piece of cake isn't it, Farber goes over, Oldham and Cooper weren't the loop movements, lovely slip ball to Farber, like yelling peas isn't it, Farber goes over, extend the Saints lead, 20 points to 11. Paul Farber going over there. His fourth try of the season with the Saints. He's a good forward, forward, there's no danger. We're substituting Saints' Premiership final win against Ulkear in 1985. And more or less been a stalwart in the first team ever since. Play anywhere for Saints, just recently signed a five-year contract. So Paul Lachlan, conversion attempt. It's on his best side, so shouldn't have any problem. Lachlan there composing himself. Lofts it well, is it? Uh, yes. Right between the sticks, no problem. 22 points to 11. In the Saints' favour. to make it a substitution there with uh, David Bug coming on. I don't know if he's replaced. But it's Saints back in possession. George Mann powering his way into the Featherston defence. Groves, lofted ball to Cosgrove. Andy Bateman did well there, oh, sad, oh tremendous sad, and he feeds it to Be Beavers there, tremendous sad step from Bateman, looked as though the ball was dead, but it's uh, stuck to the task, Cooper, Crotchum, holding, quick hands well, Crotchum being held back there, but Saints capitalised on it, George Mann, pens one off, oh, turning down that left wing, plays it to himself, that's right, no marker, Cooper, St. Spenny's along the line, shot ball to Frotsham, looking for support, into the Featherston 25 now, 6th and final tattle, are we going to have a go for drop goal now? Cooper, Bailey, Beavers, turns it back inside, Cooper gets it, back to Bailey, lofts it up, it was on the 6th saddle, it touched the Featherston man, uh, signified by referee Tidball, but Bibb comes up with the ball, Beavers and hold him, bring him to a halt. Fox at dummy half. Oh, there's a forward substitute on as well. I just uh, slipped my uh, eyesight that. But 
Forest. Featherston in possession, 10 yards short of the halfway line. Fox again. Lofted ball to Rapati. Uh, now as you get a close look at him, you can see he's a, a little darker. He's uh, Ivor Rapati. Clark attacking halfback. Fox. Penalises Saints, in effect. The Saints were on the charge, but Featherston coming round in an offside position uh, after the scrum. You can't weigh the man up, can you? You could have played advantage. But Lachlan there hooks it. But he finds touch just short of the Featherston 25. Cosgrove. Five yards inside the Featherston 25 now. Saints putting the pressure on. Groves attacking half back. On to Cooper along the line. Short ball to Mann. Side step pass one. Still driving forward. Looking to release. No support there this time. Did all overrun him. He plays it quickly. Grove scampers through. Pushes one off and eight yards short now. Just to the right of the sticks. Crotchum holding. Short ball to Farber. Feeds it back. Oh, lovely ball. Farber. Lachlan, yes. Down to Crotchum and he's in. Super try and super backing up from the Saints there. Quick hands and that paid dividends. The final pass from Lachlan to Crotchum. And he's Proch Tommy Prodjum touches down just uh, behind the sticks there. Second try of the season for Tommy. Unfortunately, been out for two or three weeks with injury. Tommy Prodjum receiving the applause of the crowd. His second try of the season, as I said. Been out with a heavily bruised thigh. But Paul Lachlan, no problem for him. 26 points now to 11, and Lachlan's conversion surely just a formality. <laughs> 28 points to 11 with Lachlan's sixth goal of the afternoon. Just 13 minutes of the half gone. And uh, it'll take a brave Featherston side to come back. They certainly look sharp early in the early minutes of the second half. But they've gone to pot. Saints uh, powering up with the tries uh, from Farber and Prochum. A Paul Lachlan penalty goal. Two conversions from Paul Lachlan. And uh, Featherston just with that uh, fifth minute in the second half, that Napa try. David Cosgrove running the ball up to the 25. Loose ball there, knock on being given. Bateman did well, he come up with the ball after knocking on as he was driving through. Scrum down just inside the Saints 25, it's Fox to feed, and no doubt he'll be feeding. We can't see this time, well, it certainly looked from the angle. But holding quickly around and snuffs him out. Just one scrum being taken against the head, that going the Featherstone way. And Fox is done now, but feed the scrum all the match. Fox and well, he's trying to bob and weave his way through. Finally bundled to the ground. Saints forcing Featherston back. They're outside the 25. Clark at dummy half. On to substitute forward there, Gary Hall. I know Paul Newlove has gone off. I think he's been replaced by uh, David Bug. I'm not quite sure who's gone off in the forwards just at present. There's David Hall in possession, but a knock on. Saints come up with a loose ball. I think it's number 10. Is it that's gone off for uh, Featherston? But it's George Mann. Blockbusting run. Support from Beavers. Banks wrestles him to the ground. Quick play of the ball. Mark Bailey juggles with it. Takes it across field. Cooper holding. Paul Farber. Slips it to, Co uh, to um, Prodsham. Cooper has it inside ball, but yes, Saints come up with it. Did well there, Prodsham went down bravely on that ball. Andy Bateman powering his way down. Slips it up to Alan Hunt. Just forced into touch over there on the far side is Alan Hunt. Tremendous rugby from the Saints, quick uh, into passing. Scrum down, Featherston feed, midway between the trial line and the six, 25 and the Featherston 25. 
28 points to 11 the score and just quarter of an hour of the second half gone. Fox trying to spread it. All the stuff in looks as though it's been taken out of this Featherstone outfit. Substitute back, David Bug. Three-man tackle from the Saints, power him down. Got to contain this Featherstone outfit in their own 25. Clark attacking halfback. Lofted ball. Rapati, is it? But super tackle from Mark Bailey brings him to ground. Napper feeds it inside to Fox. On to Bug. Crossfield kick in on the full. It was the changeover. I didn't see the referee signal, but uh, advantage of the Saints there. Six tackles to make it count, and uh, Featherston penalised for moving up in an offside position. Shane Cooper takes it quickly. Takes it left, Fevers. Dummies through, yes, Fevers is in. Quick play from the Saints there. That's what it takes. You've got to be in there very quickly. Shane Cooper, he moved up there as Featherston had been penalised. Put offside, he took it quickly. Passed it to Phil Beavers. Beavers dumb it uh, as if he was passing it to Alan Hunt. And uh, took the title and went in in the corner. So Phil Beavers powering his way in there. His sixth try of the season. Equal now with Paul Lachlan. On six tries, the leading uh, try scorers here at Mosley Road. Difficult conversion for Paul Lachlan, but well within his capabilities. Successful with six this afternoon. Just a couple of yards in and just outside the 25. Kicks it well, but it goes across the... Uh, well, I think it was pull short. Very difficult to tell from here, but it uh, didn't count. Touch judges wave it away. And the score now, halfway through the second half. Saints 32, Featherston 11. Was Saints fifth try of the afternoon there. Phil Beavers latching on to the end of it. And Fox to kick off. Bailey takes it, feeds it to David Tanner. Diagonal run. Tanner there, blistering through. He's certainly uh, looking very well. He gets up, the tackle wasn't completed. Well, uh, David Buck going in there a little enthusiastically. Cosgrove feeds it back to Cooper. No no way through for him there he has to go back in field and take the tattle groves bringing it blindside into space onto bateman out to bailey well what's the man doing at all the ball had gone he's given another forward pass again well another bum decision from referee tidball two passes and both the same plays involved on both occasions with bateman and bailey and no way that was a forward pass Man's not got control at all. But he's there if you can't see Fox feeding. Well, one against the head there. Hold him pit well. I thought he was going against the head. He didn't let it go. I think it's Fisher that's come off for, for Featherston, replaced by Gary Hall. But it's Fox there going to feed this scrum Saints uh, can't get packed. Well, he's right in front of the referee, but he lets it go again. Alan Banks trying to uh, get his way through. Brought down eight yards short of the halfway line. Babe uh, tacked in half back onto Fox. Inside ball to Gary Hall. Rapati now attacked in half back. Featherston looking a bit of disarray. Groves comes in and snuffs Fox out. Shane Cooper in at the title as well. Saints certainly putting uh, Featherston off the game. Grayson, the inside ball. Burry in the play. Just into the final quarter now. And it's Glenn Booth. Plays the ball inside there to uh, Bell. Glenn Bell. 
Featherstone keeping it going. Vip comes in and Farber claps it well. I don't. There's nothing in that tackle whatsoever. Farber coming in like nobody's business onto Vip. There's only the referee saw that. Right in front of him. It's surprising what he can see and what he can't see, isn't it? But definitely not impressed with this fella. Fox finds touch. Eight yards short of the Saints 25. Featherstone back on the charge. Clark at dummy half. Featherstone bringing it left. On to Bell. Featherstone moving upfield, making, uh, making ground towards the Saints try line. Fox, Gration, certainly looking into the obstruction in those uh, loop movements. But it's Fox again, trying to get his team going. Short ball to Gration. On to Rapati, was it? But he, he dropped it. Rapati put it down, and it was number 14, David Bug, that came up with the ball. But Featherston, they completed the double over the Saints uh, last season. 13-12, they won at uh, home. Featherston, uh, post office road. Whereas here, late on in the season, when Saints were having the bad spell, the, the, brass, uh, the last uh, seven matches, they only managed to win one. That was against Warrington. Here at Nosey Road, Featherston uh, wiped the floor with the Saints to the tune of 31 points to 10. But it's not going to be that today. Saints come up with the ball from the scrum. Fiji's on to Tommy Frodsham. He takes the title of Alan Banks. But it's Saints underway. Mark Bailey. Good ball to George Mann. Pushes one off. Gets Lachlan on his way. Alan Hunt's on his left. Lachlan straight in out. <laughs> 35 yards upfield from the Saints there. Cooper with the dummy. On to uh, Cosgrove, I think it is. But it's Bateman. Well, the CV says that's forward. By Joe! I was only joking, and he said it's forward. No way! Bateman to... Well, he's only keeping the score down. Bateman to Frodsham. It was a perler of a pass. Shane Cooper, and Shane Cooper's the most quiet of fellas, but he just goes up and has, has a word in the referee's ear, and why not? Rapati here, right in front of us. Bailey brings him down. Backs at dummy half. Onto Fox along the line. Gary Hall now. Well, that's uh, a certain, I would say, three tries. A possible 18 points going to miss there for the Saints by some. Uh, you well, I don't know what to call it, but some uh, horrible refereeing. Backs, short ball there. Oh no, it's Fisher there. He's in the line. On to Alan Banks on the far side. Fox, Bell, feeds it back to Gration, along to Rapati. Tries to chip it through, but David Tanner takes it and takes it well. So Saints back in possession, just inside the Featherston half. Bailey on to Cooper. Cooper feeds it inside. Cosgrove takes it well. Well, she's one saddle off, but brought down right on the halfway line. Lachlan striding through. Along the line, holding, lofted pass. Well taken by Cooper, onto Frodsham. Into space, Frodsham, can he outpace the defence? Oh, unlucky, the ball's gone to ground. Bailey comes up with it. Well, a knock on being ruled. Very awkward to see from our position here whether it was knocked from his hands by the Featherstone man. But a knock on being ruled, it's going to be a Featherstone feed. Fox to feed. Featherstone come up with the ball, spread it along the line. Bib. the ball in this second half of Featherstone. Five to one I make it in the scrums. Certainly an exciting game. Second row of Glen Booth. On to loose forward Fisher. And Bell attacked in half back. On to Fox. He feeds it inside. Substitute David Bug. He releases it. On to Fisher. George Mann and uh, Farber in the tackle but the ball's released. 
Looks as though the tackle have been completed, but uh, Neil Olding comes in on the, the left wing, Mark Napper, and brings him down. Certainly some inconsistent refereeing decisions this afternoon. Sixth and final tackle. Fox kicks through. No problem. Tanner will take it with ease. Tanner just over the 25. Rapati and Fox bring him down. Bailey attacking half back onto Cosgrove. Featherstone coming in in numbers. Hall and Grayson. Approach him now into space. Groves. Short ball to George Mann. Pushes one off feet inside to Lachlan. On to Alan Hunt. What can Alan Hunt do? Oh, blistering pace. Comes in field. Unlucky though. Well, he's still going. Referee allows it to go on. Oh, yes. Well, what a pearler. Hunt gives a kick to her, steps out of the tackle, touches down behind the sticks. The referee obviously didn't think the tackle had been completed, and that's a pearler. They play to the whistle. The referee hadn't blown up, and Alan Hunt, he just kept going, got out to watch, it uh, looked as though he was tackled, and powered his way another 20 yards and touched down behind the sticks. for Alan Hunt 36 points to 11 now that's Hunt's uh, sixth try of the season three Saints players now on six with Hunt, Vivas and uh, Paul Lachlan as I said before just a formality for Lachlan there bounce it over no problem Compose himself right between the sticks, no problem. His seventh goal of the afternoon and 38 points to 11 to score. Certainly a different uh, type of rugby from the Saints from last week where they struggled against Wakefield of Bellevue. Wakefield, well, they're certainly putting it together this afternoon. Just a little slow starting, but once they've got uh, the bit between the teeth, they're certainly making uh, Featherstone pay. Fox kicks off. Alan Hunt gathers it safely. Can he go all the way? Groves onto George Mann. Slips one tackle on down on one knee, and he's still going. This lad. What a tremendous game he's had. There's no danger. Good team performance from the Saints. Groves feeds it round the man in the tackle onto Viva. Saints keep it going. Cosgrove goes in field. Onto Beavers again. Oh, he's there and backing up his Beavers. Twice in that movement. Cooper holding. Chip kick through. Saints chasing. Well, all he's chasing it. Bib, he's going to have some on his plate here. He's got to kick it dead. Turns round there, but uh, full marks for Neil Holding. Heard after his own kick. Put pressure on Chris Bib. Featherstone forced to drop out from between their own sticks. Derek Fox. Mark Bailey takes it. Feeds it inside to Cosgrove. Powers down this right wing. Saints looking to make a substitute with uh, Austin Donegan waiting on the uh, sidelines to come on for David Cosgrove. Beavers. Farber. Can't take it. Well, Drummond can't take it either. The ball's still loose. Knock on being given. Now Saints are going to make a substitution. Austin Donegan coming on. Well, they can't uh, attract the referee's attention at present. Well, they finally got him now. And David Cosgrove, he's had a good, solid game as Cosgrove. Being replaced by Austin Donegan. Standing innovation for you, uh, David Cosgrove here. Saints come up with the ball. One against the head there, Frotchum. Blistering face. Peters inside to Beavers. Still going to be all oh, brilliant for rugby from the Saints. Just a matter of time before we're over the line again, surely. Bailey along the line. Cooper holding. 
plenty of space there. Farber knocks it across there, no problem. Well, he's given a knock on for certain. Turn it looks as though Farber had knocked it back. Nine minutes of normal time remaining. Saints in a commanding 38 points to 11 lead. And what a feast of rugby we've had from uh, the Saints this afternoon. Patterson come up with the ball. Fox flicks it up. Glen Booth. Groves and uh, Farber in at the tackle. Fox at dummy half. Turns it right, Glen Bell, feeds it inside to David Bug. They're moving upfield uh, slightly, uh, Featherston hoping, but they're looking a little uh, lax in ideas. Glen Bell, solid tackle there, in with the shoulder and uh, bangs his man down. Austin Donegan just come on, replacing David Cosgrove. Grayson, he did well there. Full stretch uh, to take it. Sixth and final tackle signified. Fox, it's the Saints player. Well, he was in front of Fox, that man, when the Fox kicked in, even though he did touch his hits. Well, it's Grayson, isn't it? You can't expect him to be onside, can you? 40 years of age, he's, he's slower than me, he must be. Well, Clark attacked in half-back. Featherston with another five tackles now to make it count. Glen Bell feeds it inside to Clark again. The ball knocked down. Fox gathers it. It has uh, come back. There was no knock on the... Alan Banks trying to wind his way through, looking for support. Feeds it back to Fox. Quick hands to Clark. On to Bug. Feeds it back again. Well, he's given a knock on this time. You can't weigh the man up, can you? <laughs> Certainly looks as though the ball had come back. Not a knock on, but he's given a knock on. It's going to be a scrum down midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line with a Saints feed. Also last season, uh, the third uh, time that uh, Saints played Featherston in the third round of the Challenge Cup here at Nosey Road. And Saints were not winners by 32 points to three. Not against the head there. Featherston come up with it, Fisher in possession. Fox again, he's trying to get his side underway, but Max passes there. On to Clark, feeds it inside to Grayson. On to Fox again. Spreading it out and they're throwing it about a bit. Austin Donegan there clamps his man. David Bogart tacked in half back. Takes it right. Fox feeds it inside to Hall. The ball's loose again. But surely playing on a lot of one this time. Yes, must be a knock on. Featherston knock on. Going to be a Saints feed. Phil Beaver's been named as man of the match. He's had a good game. He's always doing about. Saints come up with the ball from the scrum. A knock on. Napper gathers the loose ball, but a Featherston hand uh, touched it. Scrum down again in quick succession after Saints breaking very quickly there. Tommy Frotchum looking sharp as attack. Is remaining and Saints in a commanding 38 points to 11 lead. Neil Olin to feed again. Holding on to Frotchum along the line. Beavers in the line. Just been named as man of the match. He's into space. He releases it there to Paul Lachlan. Lofty ball to Hunt. What can he do now? Drummond brings him down. He gets up again. Well, solid tackling on the far side. George Mann powering his way through. Looks as though he's going to feed it inside. It's a pity he didn't let it go. Saints support was there this time. Austin Donegan. Just outside the Featherston 25. Saints with the tails up now. It's about time we had a try. We haven't been over for uh, five or six minutes. Mark Bailey. Sixth and final tattle. Referee's hand is it, or is he just sliding them out? Holding, chips through, Tanner's chasing it. Well, it must have gone dead directly from uh, Neil Holding's kick through. The game to be restart with a tap from the centre of the 25. Derek Fox, onto Hall. 
Fox again at uh, the acting half back position. Not a big crowd here, but uh, quite a lot of the Featherston supporters making their way to the uh, turnstiles now, to the uh, exits, I should say. Jeff Grayson being taken back. Play the ball, the referee says. Fox. It's now with the second row man. Number two, oh, number 12, Glenn Booth. But the man was hardly tackled. Referee comes in, awards Featherston a penalty. Quick tap by Fox. Rapati attacked in half back. Moving over to the right. Just three minutes uh, remaining. 11 minutes now since Saint scored. Grayson, solid tackle there. Andy Bateman completes the tackle. Fox onto Bibb coming in the line. Mark Bailey completes the tackle. Good tackle around the legs. Fox now tries to find touch. But it comes well in field. Phil Beavers. David Tanner comes in field. Beavers making his way through. Threading his way through this uh, defence. Onto Farber. Inside ball to Groves. Can Groves outpace Bibb? Oh, he's still going Groves eh? Yes, he touched down. There he goes. Good to back it up there from Paul Groves. Saints powering through. Groves latching onto the ball there. He pushed uh, Bibb off the fullback and touches down for another Saints try. Saints seventh try of the afternoon. 42 points to 11 now, the score. Paul Lachlan, he's already banked seven over. Looking to uh, put the icing on the cake here now. Tremendous win for the Saints, and uh, we have a fortnight off now before the next league game, which is at Wilderspool Warrington in a fortnight, with the test match being this Saturday, the no-league programme. But Lachlan there, no problem, bangs it over, and uh, 44 points to 11 now, the score. He has a Zeno League programme next Sunday. First test this Saturday and then Saints at to Wilderspool Warrington a fortnight today. And then the televised match against Salford here at Nosey Road the following Saturday. Well, Featherston tried to bury the kick off there. They did get it the 10 yards, the required 10 yards, but uh, they fumbled it. Going to be a scrum down. Midway between the Saints 25, the halfway line, it's Neil all into feed. Featherston loads of ball this uh, second half, but not been able to convert it into points. Just that uh, nap a try in the fifth minute. That's the only score of this uh, second half. Holden comes up with the ball quickly from the scrum. Onto Frodsham. Lofty ball, Beavers again in the line. Bailey inside. Diagonal run from Bailey. Tremendous power. Inside ball there to Frodsham. Must be a try. Oh, what a perler. What a dummy. Frodsham touches down for his second of the afternoon. And the Saints second try there in two minutes. Brilliant finishing off from the Saints there. Well, Tommy Frodsham finishing off there in good style and there'll probably just be time for Paul Lachlan to uh, convert this try. But what a pearl of the brilliant break. Bailey siding through, inside ball, onto Bailey, diagonal uh, towards the sticks he was going. And then Frodsham took up the running. An outrageous dummy to his left. Uh, Old Featherston took it and Frodsham touched down behind the sticks unopposed. So Lachlan pops his ninth of the afternoon over and St. Tregis of the half century. 50 points to 11 now.
Yeah, there was the final loser. I thought we wouldn't have much time. So Saints running out comprehensive winners by 50 points to 11. It was only 14 points to 7 at half time. And then in the second half, Lachlan won the scoring with a third minute penalty goal. Then Featherston came back into it with a naffer try. And at 16 11, and Featherston looked quite sharp. But then Saints coming to the fore with tries from Farber. Then the first of Prochim's two, Phil Beavers, all in the space of 10 minutes. And then it was another 10 minutes before Alan Hunt grabbed a glorious try there after uh, being brought down in the 25, but he finished off well. That was converted by Lachlan, the Hunt uh, try, and it made it 38 points to 11. Then it was 10 minutes, I was just saying about 10 or 11 minutes, Paul Groves finishing off in good style, rushing off a feeble Featherston defence, Converted by Lachlan, and then two minutes there to Frodsham with his second try. He powered his way over there, uh, uh, an outrageous dummy to his left, and uh, went over. Lachlan converted it, 50 points to 11, the final score. As I said, we've got a fortnight off, but uh, thanks for joining us once again today. We hope you'll join us at Wilderspool on behalf of BSN, uh, the leaders in the Saints of Video, home video entertainment. We hope you'll join us again. My name's Ron Hoof, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this afternoon's match.